When I first got the Surface Pro 3 last year, one of the main things I was looking forward to doing was actually just playing around with ZBrush on it. Now, as well as being able to take the work I was doing on the desktop anywhere, I really wanted to just be sat there and just, rather than sketching in Photoshop or Mischief, I could just open up ZBrush and do a quick sculpt. You know, just play around with some of the tools, do some practicing, um, or, or like I said, just continue work that I was working on on the desktop. I also wanted to be able to take it out with me, so if I was uh, going to a, a school and giving a talk or, or going to a meeting, I could use ZBrush there when, if I'm de demoing something or, or, or showing something off. Now, unfortunately, if, if, if you actually read my review um, and you've been following me for the past year, you'll know that I've had non-stop problems with ZBrush. Basically, using a um, Dynamesh sphere, like I have in front of me now, will be fine. The pressure would come through, it would all work, and you know I could sculpt away with that, no, no problem. The, the issues came when I would import another file. So if I imported an OBJ, for example, the pressure would drop. So you'd have no sensitivity whatsoever. Even if you loaded in a file you'd just been working on in your desktop, the pressure wouldn't come through. So for me, this just made ZBrush unusable on the Surface Pro 3. Apart from, like I say, doing quick sculpts with uh, Dynamesh or, you know, just pl generally playing around with it. Now, unfortunately, I've been asked quite a lot over the past year my opinion of the Surface Pro 3 when people have been comparing that to the Cintiq Companion 2. And I've just had to say, from my experience, I couldn't recommend buying a Surface Pro 3 if you use if you're a heavy ZBrush user. So that that's quite sad in a way because I like the Surface Pro 3 and I use it for Maya, I use it for Mischief and Photoshop and I use it a lot for writing uh, documents and things. Um, so it's a shame that it was let down on that side. Now today I've been playing around with it and I think with a recent update has finally fixed the problem. And what I wanted to do was just quickly demo this uh, now, just to show you that it's actually working. And if anybody's got any questions about ZBrush on the Surface Pro 3, this should hopefully clear that up. So I'm thinking of this as more of an update to the video I did uh, last year. Now I'm hoping to get my hands on a Surface Pro 4 as well, just to see if the problem is replicated on that or not. Um, but once I do, I'll uh, I'll I'll re recreate my, the video I did last year, but on the Surface Pro Pro Four. But you know, I digress. So I have a just a basic Dynamesh sphere here. So if I just zoom in, just do some sculpting, you can see there the pressure is coming along well. And like I said before, this wasn't an issue previously. You know, we could uh, sculpt away on something like this and the pressure would come through fine. Just make the brush a bit bigger. So that was fine. So the problems came when I was importing other files. So let's just go straight ahead and import an OBJ. Let's find where that's gone. There we go. Spin this around. So this is from a, a file I was working on um, sort of earlier on, uh, sort of at the middle of the, the year. Let's just add a couple of divisions. Make the brush a bit bigger. And there we can see, if I just move this around, let's just make the said intensity. Let's just turn that right up just so um, this it'll demo it a bit better. But I start lightly then I press on. You can see there where the pressure is coming through. So for me that is just excellent. It means that I can now import an OBJ and I can be working on ZBrush on the Surface Pro 3 and it works fine. So let's try loading in a file 
created previously. Um, let's try this one. Where is he? There we go. So this has been sculpted and edited on the desktop. And again, previously I wouldn't have been able to load in a file like this, but let's just press down hard, lighter, press down, lighter. And there you can see the pressure's coming through really nicely. Smooth that off. Let's just uh, load something else. Give this guy a go. Um, make sure we've got his head turn colour eyes off just so we can see it a bit better. So draw in lightly and press harder. And again, the pressure's coming through great, it's absolutely flawless. So don't forget I've got the Z intensity right up, so that's why it's we're getting the extremes but there we're just I'm just using it to demo this so for me this is great news I can finally start using the Surface Pro 3 and ZBrush together so I'm going to I'm going to start using it a lot more um, I'm going to finally get around to developing my own um, radial menu which you can see here on the left adding in more buttons and things and I'll share that finally uh, through my website so how did I figure out how, well, how did this get fixed, basically? Well, there was a recent firmware update for the Surface Pro 3, um, and I think it, it was across all the devices. And for some reason, my Surface wouldn't download it. When I went into Windows Update, it just refused to, uh, to download it, so I had to search for a way to download it manually. Um, and I stumbled across this site here. Just minimise that. So basically, this is the address, and I'll link it below as well. And this allows you to download the, the um, updates manually. So click download. And what I noticed is, down at the bottom here, we have a new WinTab Win driver. So we just select that, click next, and it downloads it uh, as a zip file. Open that, install it, and that was, that was it. It just uh, seemed to work from there. It was... Uh, it was great, and I, I am I'm actually quite chuffed that ZBrush actually works. Now, like I said at the beginning, this it may be a fluke, it may not work again tomorrow, but I'm just going to keep playing around in ZBrush now, um, keep pushing it, and just see how stable this is. But for now, I've been I've been probably trying it on and off for the past couple of days, and you know, using it for for an hour or so, and it does seem quite stable. So. Yep. So for me, that I'm really happy, and uh, I'm, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. If you've got Surface Pro 3 and you've been struggling, like I have, um, then this is a fix. Uh, if you if it's not already fixed for you, um, and also I wanted to do this video as an update just for people that are asking me about ZBrush on the Surface Pro 3. I can finally say yes, it works, and recommend it. Um, and also, you know, if you if you don't want to use a keyboard, the radial menu application is great for, um, you know, giving you the keys on the screen so that you can just fly around your models and do some basic sculpting. Um, so I think that's it. And like I said, I'm, going to, I'm hoping to get my hands on a Surface Pro 4 at some point. So I will also do a, a full video review of that, you know, demoing all the key applications. Uh, but for now, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Um, if so, please give me a like uh, and also subscribe. Um, and this, that's it for now. I will catch you next time.